Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Monster Engine Monster Review video. So today we will be reviewing the exclusive Legends Pass monster. You can obtain it of course through the pass uh, by purchasing the exclusive Legends Pass which is basically like $50 or something um, for most people. But um, yeah, today we got the rank 3 and we're gonna take it to battle. Have some fun with it. I'm gonna show you guys how good this monster is in action. So I hope you guys are excited for today's video. If you are, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys. So take a look at it. We got it. Um, it's an interesting looking monster, though. Okay, I've got to say, it. pretty interesting looking. Uh, <laughs> anyways, trait wise, you got hardened. Okay, you got hardened there. 20% less accuracy against this monster. Then you have this positive vibe section. So it's only to yourself though. So you can't really. It's not like it's to all allies, which kind of sucks. I mean, imagine if it was to all allies, that would have been really, really OP. Um, but yeah, that's there. And then you have immune to torture. So give you giving immunity to all type of torture status effects. And it is just to himself. So you, all you're protecting is basically the immune to torture with the hardened. That's really all you're protecting. You know what I mean with this? All right, so in terms of stats, guys, uh, you get about 11,614 speed. Um, as a supporter, I mean, just in general, this monster is the fastest in the game so far. Uh, out of all the other monsters that I've reviewed so far, it is literally the fastest. 11,614, that's an amazing speed. The fastest monster in the game right now. 233,456. Ouch. Okay, that life is low. I've got to say, that life is actually low. You don't have to worry about the power because it's not an attacker. So getting into skills, look at this. Look what we got here. Moderate nature damage to an enemy, removes positive status effects from one enemy, applies positive effect protection to all allies. So you're not just removing positive status effects from the enemy. You're also applying positive effect protection to everybody. So imagine like running um, a monster with, that has like anticipation trade or status caster or for example mega taunt on your side, you know what I mean? Or whatever it is, like it's literally going to protect it. So they're going to have to cleanse twice in order to get whatever, like get rid of whatever they want, right? Uh, you also have this um, other skill right here, which is a low nature damage to all enemies. Removes positive status effects from all enemies. Look at that. You have another AoE remove positive status effects skill. Wow. You're a rock star. <laughs> Applies double damage to an ally and immunity to control to all allies. So if they try to hit you with like any form of control, like for example, we have the Ruby right now, right? Uh, Zyran the Great, that monster. Can't really land any of his shots because of the same to control if they were up against each other. Now this is actually pretty good, I've got to say. So you, you get to apply that double damage to whoever you want. That's really good. It supports here, removes all negative status effects from all allies, applies torture immunity to all allies. So that's actually really good. Cleansing everything, and on top of that, you're applying the torture immunity. Um, and on top of that, if you want to stack this up, they're going to have to remove this first, and then they're going to have to remove that. Now, in terms of relics and talents, here, here's what we got, okay? So, for mask, mask is one of the options. You can do Dreams Mask if you want to. Tetsu Man's Mask is an excellent option. You also have Eulatron's Mask. You can give that. Talonade's Mask is also there, and last but not least, Jazzy's Mask. Um, I'd probably like prefer either Talonade, um, Eltron's Mask, and last but not least, the Tetsu Mask the most. Tetsu Mask is, is like one of the best to give. I mean, you can remove stamina from the enemy, and you can also regenerate whenever you need it. Now, Banner is another option. So for Banner, you can either go with like some type of Banner that regenerates your stamina, or you can go ahead and go with one that um, increases your health and your allies, or even a heal one, like for example, Inkiverse Banner, okay? So you can do one of those. So Jackpack Banner, I mean, I do have this, so I guess we could go with this. And then uh, with the mask, we can probably do the um, Eel Trunk Mask. So after being damaged by skill, you remove stamina, and also you can have this monster use it as an armor. Um, so let's go with that. And then for the talent here, there are a couple, go with the ones that are like support talents, okay? Um, if you know what I mean. So I probably do like Last Hope in case I ever need like health. When my life is below 30%, I can just go ahead and use that as heal. Alright, so here we are on PvP, and I'm pairing it up with the Mega Taunt monster, um, Pangaloyat. So what we're gonna do here, um, what we're gonna do is start off with this positive protection. So I'll have my Mega Taunt there, or I can go ahead and remove positive status from everybody if I wanted to. Um, or we can do double damage, even double damage, you know what I mean? That's not a bad option. Um, so everything will go towards my Mega Taunt. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's do the double damage with immune to control, okay? I don't really need the immune to control, but is there anyway? Hidden shift, that's completely fine. Watch, wait, and learn. It's okay. Soldier's gonna... Oh, okay. That's completely fine too. You know, I don't really mind it. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna root father status effect, hit you one tap. I can't really one tap you again. Oh, I can. <laughs> Look at that. I can actually eliminate a panoff as well there if I wanted to. I can. Um, let's get rid of Fruitaster. I feel like you're like a... Big threat. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and remove positive statistics from everybody. So everything that you had. Uh, I removed, okay, I remove all negative statistics here with this one. 
So as you can see, I am mega corrupted or mega possessed, whatever it is. I get rid of it and it applies me to torture. If this monster had any type of torture skills, guess what? It's not gonna land. Unless, of course, you go ahead and cleanse it with that skill. Retribution. Alright. Completely fine. Do whatever you want. CDA me again. That's completely fine. I don't really care. I'm gonna be charging. You're gonna charge up too soon. Charge up. You're free to play. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now we can do double damage. Or we can go ahead and pause the static. But I don't really need it, so let's just do the double damage and then spirit attribution to finish it off. Alright, so another one. Uh, let's see what we got here. Dragon, Termagorn, and Plant Domination. Okay, so here's what we can do. We can do the double damage again if we wanted to. Or we can do the positive accession, removing positive status effects from one of the enemies, whoever you want to hit. It'll just get rid of that. Um, huh. Okay. So we're probably going to trade this able me. Everything will go towards that. We could go with this if we wanted to. Uh, but you know what? Let's make a different play. I mean, you can make the same play as before. So that would be to do this. So now you're going to be forced to do the um, AoE freeze. The one that removes positive status effects, right? Not the trade the table one. Because even if he did trade the table, he wouldn't have been able to freeze me. So the AI, what the AI does, it likes to freeze the enemy, right? So whatever it can do. So here, it has to remove positive status effect because I had to meet to control on me. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. Um, so here's what we can do. We do this, we get an extra turn from it because of kill streak. And then the next turn, we can go ahead and one tap Termagorn. All right. Let's go. Oh, wait, we can't really one tap Termagorn, unfortunately. I thought I could. You know what? Let's give her the dragon again. Bye bye, dragon. You're gonna come back. You're gonna get an extra turn. Okay, that's completely fine. You're dead. Okay, now we just have to worry about Termagorn. Okay. Um, so we can remove positive status effects, or we can remove positive status effects and apply the positive obsession. So now, with this monster, what we can do is I can attack, or I can do my dodge area. So the positive obsession actually lasts for about three turns, so I don't really have to worry about the enemy cleansing it. So look, tries to cleanse it or whatever. If it had any cleanse skills, actually. You know, um, he would have been able to. But we get rid of it. Unfortunately, no extra turn, but that's completely fine. We could do the double damage if we wanted to, or remove all the effect, but we don't really have to cleanse anything. You want to tap me. Unfortunately, I can't do anything here, can I? I really can't. I think I'm dead. <laughs> Am I dead? Oh, never mind. Okay, yeah, this skill right here deals some damage. Thank God. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Alright, another battle. Let's see what we got here. Inheritor, we got Plan Termination and Isabeth. Uh, not bad, but two attackers? Are you sure? Okay, we can go ahead and actually do the immune to control again to everybody. And then look at this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I could just one tap you if I wanted to. You know what? Let's do it. And then you're going to come back and what are you going to do? Nothing. I'm just going to auto this, honestly. Just go auto. Soul Drag's going to kill you. Never mind. <laughs> so I'm going to say this monster overall is a fantastic one. Um, I do like it. It's pretty fast as well. So, um, man. It's, it's, it's a really good monster, I've got to say. You can make lots of cool plays with it. I might actually pick up the exclusive just for this. I haven't bought, bought the pass, but now that I read it, I feel like this monster is good to use, you know what I mean? As an exclusive monster. Um, but yeah, guys, so I hope you did enjoy today's monster review on P3R3. This is the exclusive monster in the pass right now. If um, you guys did enjoy, drop a like. And if you found it helpful, also drop a like. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel with the on, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.